it's 500 here. Back with another video, and this is a spraying tutorial, a simple one. This is a more advanced spray, but you can make things like this very simply. So first, you're going to need a Sprite sheet. Now for this, I'm going to be using this one. The link will be in the description to get it. And you have to, and you have to open a new paint file if you don't know how, how to. Just right click and click paint, or if you have it on your desktop or whatever, make it bigger. And you're going to click this down button and click transparent selection. Now you're all set up. And you're going to need to select. Oh no, you're going to minus that and make sure this is on the select tool. And you're going to find the two Pokemon that you want to fuse. I'm going to do a very, very simple one that it's not going to be one of my permanent ones, just something to for tutorial wise. It's going to be. I'm going to start out by getting a Pokemon from here. This is perfect because if you actually look, it's organized into like Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, and Unova. If you want to use anything greater than that, you have to find your own sprites because they're 3D. So you have to find like the 2D versions that people made. Those are kind of hard to find. Anyway, so I'm going to get some Golbat wings. They're, they're like the perfect wing for like any spriting. I use a lot. I use it a lot. Golbat wings, but for bigger designs, you might want to use something else. Garatina is also a cool one you can use. Paste that in here. Right? It doesn't matter about zooming in yet. Um, I'm just getting it ready. Uh, I'm also going to um, find another, which I'm going to use. Quagsire, just to make him like that. And this part is like completely optional. You can use the one of the colors shown here for coloring, but I'm gonna use an extra Pokemon to color. I'm just gonna use Persian. No, I'm actually going to use Raichu. Yeah, I'm using the female Raichu, but it doesn't matter. I'm not using anything of Raichu to make it. So I could. Like once I got my three Pokemon, I put this one aside for now because it's only for coloring later on. You have to start by figuring out what's your base. I'm gonna use Quagsire as my base because it's perfect for doing that. And I'm gonna start by messing around with him. I'm gonna first remove his tail because I don't want him to have a tail. Just to make it a little more unique. You can just erase that. Try to get the perfect, perfect um. Thing here now you see I'm just using white coloring you with the pencil because the eraser won't fit in there I don't know how to make it smaller I would guess you do well I don't know what to do exactly anyway because I want to use his wings so I'm just gonna select one wing copy it and paste it and I'm going to erase everything I'm gonna erase the rest of his body here the reason I do copy and paste and I don't just take it off is because in case I mess up and I want to do it again. I'm going to select this wing, right? Copy and paste. Now, transparent selection is like that because if you don't if you don't have transparent selection, on which people many people do, this happens, you know, and white's not transparent, but with this white is transparent. And sometimes if you have like white eyes or something and you notice when you try to put something behind or something, it takes the color. You can just change the color and then change it back. Is that, like, is that that confusing when you really start to get used to it? I'm doing this tutorial because not many people know how to sprite, and some videos that I've watched are kind of confusing, and some of them don't have commentary, some of them are really fast. It's kind of fast, but I'm just doing a short thing. Frame form selection is where you can choose where you select, and there's not like a specific box. And But once you choose it, uh, uh, you see how it does that? It's not going to take anything in the box. It's only going to take the thing that you highlighted. I usually have like a palette area. I'm going to move it down here. And then I'm going to take Quagsire here. This looks really derpy. Some of the derpiest Pokemon ever, and I like that. And I'm going to move him all the way down here. And I'm going to do this. Boom, he has wings. You see that? I just gave him a wing. Now we can go, and I'm going to select him again, and I am going to move him to get the other wing. And boom, he is wearing wings. Now we have to do coloring. So to do this, you're going to move him over here. Now you're wondering, wait, this is going to be really hard, and this is going to be really intricate. 
No. If you learn the simple paint trick, it will be very easy. So there's the base color, and there's the secondary color. See, I have two colors here. Just to make this a little easier, I am going to like move or change some colors like this weird color here i don't need this here this is just part of him in his back and that would be a it would be a tridary color and i don't want that i'm changing his entire body the next step is to get whatever you have to change colors i'm gonna turn all this into him so as you see, this is only dark, so I'm gonna have to do some lighter things. So to color, you're going to click the eraser, then click the dropper. Left click the color you're going to change. Right click the co right click the color and go back to the dropper. Right click the color you're gonna change it into. Hold down the right click button and move your mouse. See, it's only coloring what I, with the color that I asked it to. Then I'm going to make this color here lighter since they don't have a lighter color. And I'm going to left click this. I'm going to go over it. All right, let me see how much time I have left. Okay, I have four minutes. I'm going to have to speed through this. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I'm changing these colors so that nothing is problemed by this that's so not even a word but i'm gonna use it anyway mm -hmm. and i'm gonna do the same over here all right i'm just making this black outline because it's like the closest i'm ever gonna do all right all right then i'm gonna change some stuff around because it looks weird over here you see it's really blocky and you don't want blocky so you're just gonna have to be like boom boom. And it could be like boom. Oh wow. And you can go like boom boom boom. No, that's not how you do it. I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna hurry through this. After I show you this first spriting, I'm gonna finish coloring it and then show you what it looks like. I do I would do like a speed run, but like I can't for some reason. I know, so yeah, I'm gonna finish coloring everything and everything's gonna look nice and I'm gonna show you the final product. You know what? I'm just gonna finish coloring when I get to the secondary color, it's purple, and I'm gonna show you, okay? So Alright everyone, I just wanna show you what I'm doing. You see everything looks colored and I'm just gonna change the color and I'll be right back when I finish that. Alright, we're back and this is a finished product. Um but actually in my opinion I really like it. And just to finish everything off, what you have to do is basically to select everything that's not part of it. Cut that. Take this and move it up here. Make sure when you're doing that, that this is in the white because if it's not, well, you're going to have some problems. And then you can just small this. Save and call everyone. I'm just gonna call this Y Y T Quag Sire. And whenever you want, you can zoom in and look at that beautiful face. Um, just to wrap it up, I just want to show you some of the ones that I made. So this is a evolution. You can pause the video if you'd like. Um, this one is a weird Keldeo. This one is like my, my like original Crocobat, which is like a really awesome one that I love. This is Kyuza. This is Nike Monastric Y, which hasn't which I never finished, but I decided to keep it as it is. This is Mega Bear Tick. I'm gonna go really fast because I only have 30 seconds left. Uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna see. We got. This is my favorite one, and also I'm gonna show you my newest. My, I'm just gonna show you my newest sprite, which is this one, which I showed already. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and of course, bye.